All right, so here are the gauges, and this is the little plastic piece that he has. As you can see there, that's uh, the covers. So I'm going to try and zero it out to see uh, if we can get that to sit at zero because they're a little tiny bit off. So let me see if I can do that. I can actually use the same screwdriver that came with it. Um, let me see. There you go. Seems a lot more here, but let me try and do that. It is a flat on it. Unfortunately, the uh, hole is not quite light enough, but you can still get it. It is a flat though. There we go. So I'm going to try to see if I can bring it down to zero. Uh, I was about letting me turn it. Anyway, there we go. Uh, okay, cool. That is very, very hard to turn. Man, that thing is tight. But, now, looks like I'm at zero. Right on. So, it's not like a regular screw. This thing is really tight. But uh, I wanted to make sure I was at zero there. And here, let me put it down a little bit as well. Because you got to get the screwdriver right on. So if I, if I go counterclockwise, it goes up. If I go clockwise, it goes down. See how he went past it? So I'm going to go back, and I'm zero there. I think it's hard to see because once you get black over black, it's hard to tell where you're at. Okay, it looks like I'm right on it. But anyways, you get the gist of it. So... I'm not plugging into anything, but you're able to uh, zero it out by just using the screwdriver before you even use them to make sure you're at zero and you're good to go. Oh, another, let me see, what I forget to mention on my last video, I forgot to show you guys this can opener. Um, I don't know what they have now, but I read that it's a different type. Uh, so this may be useless, I don't know, so I'm going to have to buy that. But uh, I want to get the gauges just to familiarize myself with it, uh, with them first, and then see what else I need to get, and I'll just get whatever that is, or that other valve piece, uh, because I know they have the uh, types of cans, the ones where they come with the gauge, and the other ones, so I haven't bought anything yet, so that's why I wanted to just kind of get familiar with this to see what else I might need in order to do this but right now I just needed the gauges just to check the see what pressures I got on the car first just to get an idea and then uh, read the instructions and then see what we can do but uh, that's it for this video